we want to write the following expression without exponents. And we're given sine to the fourth of 3x. A good question to ask is why do we care about reducing the power? Well, in fields like broadcasting, radio waves, uh, radio, anything that has to do with radio, or some sorts of music and recording of music, anytime you have to deal with sine waves, you want to create something that's as simple as possible. So the more power or the higher power it is, the more difficult uh, the function is to work with. So when you're dealing with radio waves and things like that, you want to reduce the power so that it's easier to deal with when you have to do calculations or th adjustments and things like that. So that's what would be a good reason to want to reduce the power of this particular expression. Now we're going to use two identities. Um, I'm not going to prove them. I can prove them in another video, but I'm just going to write them down. That sine squared alpha is 1 minus cosine 2 alpha over 2. And then I'm also going to use cosine squared of alpha is equal to 1 plus cosine 2 alpha over 2. There's a lot of algebra in this problem. So let's see if we can survive here. So I'm going to start with writing my expression. This is a four. Oh, come on. I got to pay attention here. Writing my expression sine to the fourth of 3x. <clears throat> that is going to equal sine squared of 3x to the second power. Now I'm just going to replace sine squared of 3x with uh, this particular identity or using this particular identity where alpha is going to be 3x. So whatever is inside here is what alpha turns out to be. So if I put that in there, I get 1 minus cosine of 2 times alpha, which is 3x in my case, divided by 2 quantity squared. Now a lot of this, again, in this problem, like I said earlier, is going to be some algebra. So uh, here's the start of the algebra. I'm actually going to square both the numerator and the denominator. 1 minus cosine 6x quantity squared divided by 2 squared. I want to multiply out the numerator here. So in order to do that, I'm going to come off to the side. I'm going to write 1 minus cosine 6x times 1 minus cosine 6x. And I'm going to what is known as FOIL. I don't like that terminology. It's really the distribution property, but let's FOIL. So 1 times 1, 1 times negative cosine 6x, 1 times negative cosine 6x, uh, and then cosine 6x times cosine 6x is positive cosine squared 6x. So I'm going to replace my numerator here with that expression expanded. So this is what we call scratch work. And it's just showing the algebra to square that term. Continuing writing then, I get, well, if I combine these two right here, I have minus cosine 6x minus cosine 6x. So that's minus 2 cosine 6x. So 1 minus 2 cosine 6x plus cosine squared 6x, all divided by 4. Now we've reduced it from a power of 4 to a power of just 2 already, but now I'm going to utilize this identity with this guy to reduce it even further, where now alpha is equal to 6x. And again, these are just kind of notes here so that you know what on earth I'm doing. So let's see, I want to look at that identity here, so I'm going to put it in 1 minus 2 cosine 6x plus 1 plus cosine of 2 times 6x all divided by 2. All divided by 4. So again, I just took this identity. I substituted in for just this piece right here, just that piece. But you can see that there's no power anywhere in here other than 1, which is what we want. So now the rest of the problem here is just simplifying this last step. So I'm going to write it 
just a little bit differently, or bigger, 1 minus 2 cosine 6x plus the quantity 1 plus cosine 12x all over 2 all over 4. Now, if you want to get rid of a complex fraction like this, the idea or a quick way of doing it is just taking the denominator of every term and finding the common denominator. So the denominator here is 1, denominator here is 1, here it's 2, and here it's 1. So the most common denominator between those four is 2. So I'm going to multiply every term in the top by 2 and every term in the bottom by 2. What I'm doing is multiplying by 1, not changing the value, but simplifying it and getting rid of that 2. So I have to distribute this 2 to every term in here. So 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times negative 2 cosine 6x is negative 4 cosine 6x. 2 times this guy, well, it's supposed to cancel that so I don't have my complex fraction. So that's plus 1 plus cosine 12x all divided by 4 times 2, which is 8. Now the only thing now I can simplify in the numerator is the 2 plus 1. So I have 3 minus 4 cosine 6x plus cosine 12x all divided by 8. And now I, that's the same thing as sine to the fourth of 3x. So I've reduced something that has a power to the fourth to everything that has a power to the first. And that's a very, very powerful tool.